this video I'm going to explain how to create custom draw paths. So if you import your own image within Doodly, it's very important to use custom draw paths if you're looking for maximum realism in the drawing of your videos. So in this example, I've imported this image here into the software by clicking the plus icon, selecting the image from my computer, and clicking OK. When I do that, it will appear here. I'm going to go ahead and drag this to my timeline. Next, I want to increase the size of this image just a bit. And you'll notice when it's a custom image that you've imported yourself, there's another icon that will appear here. If you click on Edit, it's going to change to the right-hand side of the screen here. Up here is a live preview of how Dooley will draw the video. You notice that by default, it uses a scribble mode. However, depending on how realistic you'd like your drawing to be, you'll want to use Custom Draw Pass. This feature is only available within Doodly. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is zoom in on your image. We'll do that by clicking the plus icon here. Now that we're zoomed in, we're going to want to click in the timeline and drag the image sort of towards the middle of your screen. The next thing we'll do is we'll click the plus icon here. When we do that, it's going to change our cursor to the plus. You'll notice it over here. Next, we're going to want to create dots over the lines. What we're doing now is we're creating the actual path that we want Doodly to take to draw the image. Now, if you look up here at the top, you're going to notice that there's a hand showing how the image is being drawn. You can do this as fast or as slow as you want. It all depends on how realistic you want your drawing to be when it's finished. So I'm going to go ahead and outline his face right now. Okay, you'll notice that we did part of his hair and we did part of his face. You'll also notice down here at the bottom there's something called Reveal Paths. The best strategy for doing this would be to select a specific area on his body or on the image and create different reveal paths. Each reveal path is essentially the person's hand drawing the object without lifting the marker or piece of chalk off the paper. So for example, if you were to really draw an eye, you would draw probably the outside of the eye and then the hand would lift off the paper and you would draw the inside of the eye. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll come down to the bottom and there's something called new path. I'm going to click new path, then I'm going to give my path a name by clicking in there and I'm going to go ahead and type in eye outside. Okay, now that we're on that path, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the plus icon here and then I'm going to zoom in just a little more by clicking the zoom in button. I'm going to come over to the eye and we're going to start tracing around the outside of the eye. Okay. Next we'll want to create a new path and we'll call this path eye inside and then we will draw this part of the eye. And if you mess up like I did, you can click control Z and it's going to undo your last step. So in this example I might need to zoom in just a little more. I'll do that. That looks pretty good. You notice the inside of this is not covered yet, so what you can do is under path size, you can see when I do this, it increases the red color for the reveal path. So if I take it all the way out, it's going to actually reveal all these different areas. So his ear will be then revealed. We don't want that, so we want to take the path size down to about there. Looks good. Now we'll scroll back up to the top and if we watch this here, we're going to be able to see the outside of the face being drawn, then we'll see the eye being drawn. So it draws the outside of the face, then it's going to draw the outside of the eye, lifts the chalk off the paper, and draws the inside of the eye. That is how you're going to achieve the most realism. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go through your entire image, create as many reveal paths as you want, the more time you take, the more realistic it's going to look. But again, if time is of the essence, then the detail for your draw path is not extremely important. The last feature I want to mention 
And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Let's say, for example, that as we were creating a draw path, create a new path here. As we were creating a draw path, let's say we were doing his ear, and we were going over his ear like so. And we accidentally messed up. We put a line down here. And then we put a dot right there. Let's say this dot is obviously out of place. So what you can do is you can hold the control key down on your keyboard. You can hover over the dot. And that's going to allow you to then click on it and move it to where it needs to go. This is a great way to fine tune your reveal path. So you'll notice there's part of his ear here on the far left that isn't covered by the red. I can take this dot and I can hold the control key and I can kind of move this dot around a little bit to adjust it so that it's perfect. That looks pretty good. And again, if you do something by accident and you want to undo something, hit control Z and that's going to undo the last processes. If you want to delete a reveal path, you can simply hover over the reveal paths and click the delete icon. It's going to delete the entire reveal path. So you'll, you'll notice that when I did that, all of the, the reveal path that I had over his head and face is now gone. If I want to remove this one over his eye, select that one, click delete. It's going to remove it from his eye. Once we're finished, we can save and return to our drawing or we can return without saving. So if I hit save and return, it's going to come back to our drawing here. If I preview it, you'll see that it's going to preview everything that I've done. You'll notice that what happened was it, it went over the reveal pass that I did and then it flashed up the entire image at the very end. If I had made reveal pass for the entire image, it would draw the entire image. And that is how to create custom draw paths within Doodly.